This Kids Connection digital exclusive is brought to you by ACES, transforming lives through education. Hi, boys and girls. I'm First Alert meteorologist, Caitlin McGrath. Are you ready to have fun with science and make your own snowflake? This experiment is simple and fascinating. You'll need borax powder and a tablespoon, a thick glass jar or vase, a pen or pencil, scissors, string, pipe cleaners, a measuring cup, and boiling water. So this is an experiment where you'll want help from an adult. And kids, our final snowflakes may look like candy, but they're made up of chemicals, so definitely don't try and eat them. First, we're going to make our pipe cleaner snowflakes, and the size of your snowflake will depend on the size of your jar. You wanna make sure it fits inside the jar without touching the sides or the bottom. So you'll start off with three longer pieces of pipe cleaner and twist them together. And you can get creative with what your snowflake looks like. I like to take little pieces and twist them on the ends. Once you've made your snowflake, you're going to take a long piece of string and tie it around the middle. You'll take the other end of your string and wrap it around your pen or pencil. You wanna make sure it's not too long that it's touching the bottom of the jar, but long enough so that it's fully submerged. Go ahead and set your finished snowflake to the side. Next, we're going to make our borax solution. To do this, we'll dissolve three tablespoons of borax for every cup of boiling water. So this is where you're going to want an adult to help you. And this is a really cool chemistry concept. You see, water is made up of molecules, and by boiling the water, the molecules spread really far apart. When you freeze water, they come really close together. So by boiling the water, we allow ourselves to dissolve more borax powder. I find it a little easier to dissolve the borax one cup of boiling water at a time. Be patient and make sure it all dissolves. Once your jar or vase is filled, you're going to take your snowflake and carefully place it inside, making sure it's not touching the bottom or the sides. And now we be patient. You wanna place your jar in a quiet place where it's not going to be disturbed for at least 24 hours. It's going to take some time for our snowflakes to form. So be sure not to touch the pencil or the solution while our crystals form. But check back every few hours and you can see your snowflake growing just like an actual snowflake is made up of ice crystals. The next day, your snowflake will be full of crystals. You can then remove it from the solution Dry it out on a paper towel and hang it up. For more fun with science and to have fun with Freya, go to NBCConnecticut.com slash Kids Connection to download Freya's Snowflake Worksheet. See you next time, boys and girls. This Kids Connection digital exclusive is brought to you by ACES, transforming lives through education.